Hi everyone and welcome to Southern Motors, Michigan's leading muscle and classic car dealer since 1978. Remember, you can always go online and check out our updated inventory at southernmotors.com. Today, guys, going to take a look at just a wicked cool 1964 Chevrolet Chevelle, Chevelle Malibu True Super Sport car, guys. Killer little car. Factory color combination, ermine white with the aqua metallic interior. Uh, great color combo. You can see it's got 18 and 20 inch billet specialty wheels. They've got it lowered down a little bit. Uh, car was originally restored around 2012, 2013. Then it was upgraded again, 2019, 2020. Uh, but now the, 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 the paintwork and interior and stuff like that, this is all the stuff from 2000, uh, 2012, 2013. They've upgraded the drivetrain is what they've done. Uh, like I say, killer car, fun car to drive, plenty of ho horsepower. It's got aluminum headed ZZ4 um, uh, GM performance engine in it with a Holley uh, a sniper electronic fuel kit or a, a, a fuel kit on it with a Kessler five speed manual transmission, 12 bolt 373 Posi. Fun, fun car to drive. Plenty of power. Um, like I say, you can, as we walk around it, you can kind of nitpick the paint a little bit, but still very, very nice. You can see the car's got all the original T3 headlights still in it. Chrome and stainless is nice on the car. Car's out of Kentucky. Glass is nice. It's got the NSRA uh, 2019 safety inspection. Stick around it still. Like I say, really cool color combination. The factory ermine white with the um, aqua interior. It's got a uh, manual top. Top's in great shape. I took some pictures of it. Uh, goes up and down nice and easy. One person can operate it. Again, you can see there's a few little scratches on the... That's actually from the uh, boot. We've got the boot for it as well. Again, it is a little bit of an off-white. Ermine white was like that. It's not a bright, bright white. Car's nice and straight down the sides. Again, 18 and 20 inch billet specialty wheels. You can see it's still got the original bumperettes on it. Car's only got 90-some thousand original miles on it. Again, they've upgraded at the front disc brakes. A lot of upgrades, guys. That's for sure. Again, aluminum headed ZZ4, uh, uh, GM Performance crate engine in it. Uh, it's actually got the Snowflake GM aluminum intake, Holly FI, HGI distributor. It's got the front runner system. I'm gonna have to check the air. I couldn't get the air to kick out. Uh, power steering, power front disc brakes. Does have air, aftermarket vintage air, uh, aluminum radiator with the dual electric fans. Um, it's got a, a Kessler five speed manual trans, hooker super comp headers. Good looking car, man. Really drives out nice and tight. I'd probably put, I don't know, eight, 10 miles on it. Good car, and like I say, it's quick. This thing will run, guys. Eight pillar chrome's original, but pretty doggone nice. 
It's got the dual chrome mirrors. They definitely replaced the uh, door handles. Looks like new door rubbers. Again, this is the factory color. I'm not real hip on the ugly green uh, uh, rubber mats, guys, so I've ordered the correct carpeted mats for it. The correct color-coded carpeted mats. Um, so those will go with it, too. Bucket seats, console. It's got the Hurst shifter, of course, the sports steering wheel. Uh, factory tack and gauges. Again, it is a manual top. Goes up nice and easy. One, I mean, I did it when I did the photos. One person can do it. It's not hard at all. 95, 640 on your odometer. Again, tack and gauge car. That stuff all works. Retro sounds radio, padded dash. There's your uh, Holly EFI. Um, Flowmaster Duels, it's got a 12 bolt, uh, 373 limited slip rear end in it. This is what I'm talking about, puts that's a problem with those things. They put little scratches on the on your trim there. But the boot, it's got the boot, the factory jack with spare. Again, there is some paperwork here on the restoration. Boot goes with it. Here's all the stuff on the sniper EFI. This is all the receipts for the restoration. Um, again, factory jack with spare. I can get, yeah, it's good. So you can see it's all spackle coated in the trunk. They did put a trunk pan in it. Car's nice and clean underneath. Uh, you can see it's got the rear sway bar, the box control arms. Seats have been all redone. Again, nice and comfortable. Padded dash is nice. Center console is nice. Again, new door handles stamp up there. Dual pro mirrors. Same thing. Original A pillar pro. Let me pick it a little bit. Gauges are functional, tack works, give it a little rev. Tack works, holding good oil pressure. Uh, blower motor and everything, like I say, it does work. Um, it's going to the AC to kick out, so it's probably going to need a charge. I hope my guy come take a look at it. Yep, left turn signal. Right turn signal. Uh, no on the backup lights. Yeah, they didn't work. Go ahead and give it a rev. Great sound. Interior lights work. Radio works. Turn that up. Works. You can see your Holly EFI works. Doors open and close nice. Wipers work. Headlights. Pull your headlights out. There you go. Yep, got it. Go ahead and shut them back off. Horn. Again, make sure you keep track of our inventory, guys. You can do that at southernmotors.com. Another great way to keep in touch with us is through our Instagram or our Facebook page. Definitely subscribe to our YouTube page, guys. You can do that by clicking the little button there at the bottom. That way you know to get a notification every time I post a new video, guys. Let's see how this car runs. <laughs>